Hey y'all, hi, Amanda here, and we are doing my Medusa's makeup January 2024 uh, unbagging, unboxing, whatever you want to call it, and uh, this is going to be the last one of these for a while. I feel like I have just got so much makeup right now that I really can't justify getting more makeup, and I don't even <laughs> wear makeup all the time, so I need to take a chill pill on makeup for now and I also feel like I've gotten to the point where we've gotten enough repeat items that I feel like I just need a break from the line in general because I've gotten so many of their items that I I don't want to end up getting more repeats so this is the last one for a while I can't say I won't resubscribe in the future I have no idea but I'm definitely not going to be sharing any more of these in the immediate future so with that said, I have to apologize for the lighting. It is gloomy and disgusting today, so we're working with overhead fluorescence, and that's what it is. And I'm also not wearing any makeup because I've had a little bit of a runny nose, and so the tissues have torn my skin to pieces, and I'm a little bit peely right now, so I just want to avoid makeup as well. So with all that stated, let's go ahead and get into this month's subscription. So we've got a card uh, with some customer testimonials on it, and then we have our card of the month. It's got this fun little lips graphic. Looks like we're going to have five items at $66 value. So the first item we have here, I believe we have gotten before, which is what I'm saying. Like I'm getting to the point where they're sending items that are repeats and it's kind of annoying. So this is the Lovebird Rosé All Day Facial Toner. The toner is a $14 value and it contains rose water. It's almost entirely rose water, so I'm not going to be using this. I will put this in the giveaway box. The next item we have here, I'm not even sure what it is just yet, but the packaging is really not sturdy. This lid is like not on there tight. Uh, this is the Medusa's Makeup All Natural and Vegan Lip and Cheek Stain. So the color does look really pretty in the container. Let's see, this is a $14 value. Let me go ahead and swatch it. Okay, so this is a little bit disappointing. I dipped back in the container probably six times, and that is the color built up. That's all you're getting. <laughs> I would not call this a, a cheek product at all. You're not gonna see that on your cheek at all. And I'm like paper white, you're not even gonna see that on me. Absolutely not. So that's kind of a lie. I wouldn't even call it a lip stain. You're not getting any color to stain. This is maybe a lip balm. This this product's confusing. It's very confusing. I'm probably just gonna give it away because I don't understand. And it's not achieving what its name suggests it should do. And I think I forgot to mention that is a $14 value, but honestly, it's like a nothing value because it's it doesn't do anything. You could barely even see it on my hand. That's kind of wild. The next item appears to be a lip product. This is the Medusa's Makeup Metal AF Metal Metallic Stay On Lip Gloss, and this is in the color I Want to Rock. That's kind of fun. That's a fun name. Let's get that open and while I'm doing that, this is a $14 value. So here's what it looks like. It's kind of a purpley metallic, like a lilac metallic. Let's get that swatched. Now I don't know if this is a fluke or a design choice, but my wand has like a bow-leggedness to it. It's very interesting. So here is the color swatched. It is truly metallic. That is giving what it says it's giving. Look at that sheen. That's insane. And it's really beautiful. I already know that kind of shade doesn't mix well with my skin, but I kind of want to keep it anyway because of how beautiful it is. Oh my God. Look at that. I'm so impressed by that. It's so pretty. This is, this is the highlight so far for me because this is really cool. Next, we have a product from Peony, and this is the Wonder Bloom High Impact Dual Eyeshadow. This is in the colors, the Get Healthy, Get Inspired. No, 
No, I think that's their motto. I think it's Golden Vervain. I don't know. Let's open it up and take a look. So a couple things since I've taken this out of the package. The first is it says this is a $15 value. Second is it also arrived very loose. Like this was just clanking. And the third is there is a sticker on top. I understand a lot of places just white label, but like, could this be less obvious? There's a bubble in the sticker. Like this wasn't even put on well. I'm gonna try and peel it off. See what happens. Yeah, see? Now it's not even a peony product. This could be li literally any brand, any brand. So, let's, don't tell me it's a $15 value when I know this probably cost like 10 cent down. Realistically, this is kind of ridiculous that you wouldn't even properly go through the effort to make sure the sticker is not peeling off. That's, that's just my opinion. Now back to the product. I do think these are a beautiful color combination. I think they make sense with the lip gloss. I think they're very pretty. So let's go ahead and swatch them. So the formula was really buttery. It applied very easily. I think the colors are beautiful. I love how there is golden flecks. I don't know why this isn't like focusing. There we go. I like how there are golden flecks in the purple, which really then bring in that golden brown tone. I think the colors are beautiful. I just hate how like clearly cheap this is. Like. This is clearly just a white labeled product and that's fine, white label a product, but like make it a little less obvious. I don't know. Put some effort into it. They, they are beautiful colors though. I do think these would be lovely on the face, on the eye. The last item we have is a glitter from Medusa's Makeup, and this is in the color Star Power. Now I thought I had had this one, but I didn't actually. So I actually have the glitter in Shooting Star, and I am not kidding you guys, they look almost identical. They look identical. So I'm going to swatch Star Power and show it to you guys, then I'm gonna add the Shooting Star one, and we can compare. So here is a swatch of Shooting Star. You can see it's kind of white-based glitter, there's some blue in there. It's really pretty. I mean, it is a nice glitter. I do think there is a beautiful quality to it, but I really feel like it's the same exact as this one. So now I'm gonna swatch this one just over top of it and we'll see how they compare. You guys, when I tell you that is the same exact freaking glitter, look at those. That is the same thing. They are doing the same thing. They both have the blue fleck. They're both like white. That, that is the same glitter. This is the same glitter by two different names. This is insane. And I thought I had seen this one before, but I was like, no, they've got different names. No, they're the same exact freaking glitter. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I'm canceling. This product is not actual good skincare. You shouldn't be spraying fragrant rose water all over your face. This cheap little white labeled thing, like it doesn't even come off like a colored balm, let alone a stain. You would absolutely never see this on your cheeks. This is the cheapest white labeled thing they couldn't even get the sticker on, right? Like, there's one product that feels interesting, unique, and valuable, and beautiful. Now while the glitter is also interesting and beautiful, they're trying to peddle it off as something that we've already gotten by a different name. It just doesn't make sense. So, I think this is actually a really great bag to highlight why I'm going to be canceling the subscription. I already have enough makeup, realistically. I barely even go through makeup besides my base products anyway. So, yeah, this is a failing bag. This is the only good product. It's, this is an F. This is just not, it's a sad one to go out on, to be completely honest, but it is very exemplary of why I'm unsubscribing. 
So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> if you did, you can give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. And if you'd like to stick around for a while, you can hit the subscribe button. I will be continuing to do KND, Kinder, and Petite Vore for now. I feel like I still go through lifestyle products and I like having travel sizes for things. But um, this one, I'm definitely not renewing. Anyway, I will talk to you all later. Bye.